who else is gonna show you love more than you can for yourself? Isn't that a good day today? I feel like that's gonna make me cry, honestly. I can't stop yawning. Your masterpiece. My clothes look real good on you. T-shirt with the rainbow stripe yeah. And I talk, it's a luxury Oh, so sweet, your company Let's get each other up to speed yeah. I can see the vista up your hills And a silhouette up on the still Dolly brush truck with the canvas yeah. Make us feel fine By the heat Make the skin cry Baby, babe It's a good night When we wake up Still on the best side da 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 Pillows, rocks, our symphony Souls connect so physically Yeah da 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 update you guys on that class i actually don't know what it's called it was actually really interesting it was okay it was fine but i think it was just because it was like kind of like slow paced i just wanted to like get into trying tricks and doing all these things but it was very like you know beginner friendly obviously so it, was, it involved more doing i would have loved it even more you know that kind of thing but yeah i'm just like wow what here's the trying new things and it's actually kind of cool trying something new it was very like sensual i would say um getting in touch with the feminine side and it was nice to just you know partake in that because like at the end we had like um a chore choreography sort of section where we learnt like a dance it was just like very like ooh. um but yeah it was fun can you guys imagine me with a a bob cut mm, not happening that's never gonna happen <laughs> what are they? What are they today? It's Friday today. Um, yeah, we love a Friday. We love a Friday moment. Um, it is currently 12 something. I had lunch already and I'm on my way to Starbucks. I love going to Starbucks because it's just, it's nice to kind of get in the zone and, you know, kind of focus. Uh, for me, I, I just, I feel like that environment is just very good for me at the moment. Like I just love the Starbucks environment. Like, again, have my, I'm gonna have like my hot drink today because it's kind of chilly. I would say it's cold today, but like you know, it's not hot, so I want like a hot drink. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some work. I was meant to do like a weekly vlog this week, but honestly, I didn't feel like filming at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just, I don't know. I have my moments where I honestly just have nothing to say to you guys. I just have like a mind blank, like. My brain is literally not functioning some days like some days it's just like i'm on autopilot i know it's not normal i just have been having a lot of those days where i just feel kind of uh, you know and especially now that i'm socializing more like i feel like it's very taxing for me to also talk to you guys i don't know if that makes sense at all but it's just you know socializing in public and then socializing with you guys is just a lot of talking for me and i'm just like sometimes i literally just have nothing to say and i'm like i don't know i'm gonna show you guys what i'm taking to starbucks because like why not you know and what am i gonna call it my starbucks bag i don't know but here it is I paid five dollars for this bag from cotton on so I might as well use it because it's a donation bag. They don't have plastic bags anymore or any kind of even like paper bag. You have to buy a charity bag, which is fine. At least I can use it. Bring in my handbag inside the bag because I can't be bothered moving any of my cards, money and mask and 
some hand sunny um, lip oil. Don't want any dry cracked lips. And then what else do I have in here? Some random, oh my gosh, some powder. I feel like maybe putting a bit of powder on. <laughs> so random and I have like a Exi gift card that I'm gonna use. I have some more lip stuff. I like, I like to have moisturized lips. We don't want no dry cracked lips around here. No, thank you all. Look how cute this notebook is. Yeah, I have a notebook in here that I'm gonna bring that I take notes in whenever I feel like it, when I feel like journaling a little bit. And I'm planning to bring this book. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it though at Starbucks, but we'll see. It's a dream life journal that my friend got me for my birthday and I'm so, so happy about it. Like I read, I flicked through it and it's just got so many things that I feel like will really help me and inspire me to just keep creating and just keep pursuing my dreams and goals. It's so cool. There's actual right, like written prompts in here and it says, open your heart and dream without limits. So there's like questions in here that I would answer. An example was, what would you do if you had all the money and time you needed? Like that would get me really thinking hard about what it is I want in life in general, which is really cool. What would you do if you had all the courage you needed all the self belief <laughs> all the self belief you needed and i feel like that's that's going to make me cry honestly <laughs> Going through this is probably just gonna make me cry, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it in Starbucks or I'd rather do it in the you know privacy of my own space in my room. I love this concept, like it's such a good concept. If you guys have a Kiki K around you, you need to buy this for yourself because I feel like everyone kind of needs this. You know, it gives you purpose and a direction in life. You know, when you have an idea of what it is you're dreaming about. You know, stuff like that. I'm gonna be so direct. We're bringing the essentials. My laptop. My hard drive and this thing to connect so that I can connect my SD card and all that stuff. And of course, like sometimes people can get a bit noisy, you know. Sometimes you want to get into the zone of things. It's nice to have like some noise cancelling headphones. I, it is an essential, not gonna lie. And a massive ass bottle of water because I get hella thirsty. My goal is to finish this entire thing before I leave Starbucks today. Easy. Have some snacks. Cause, I mean you can't go without snacks so I have like a proper meal in here it's like a chicken noodle salad that I can eat cold and then I have some fruits one for my sister and one for me because my sister's meeting with me there as well we're gonna go together and we're just gonna like work on our goals together you know it's nice to like surround yourself with an environment where you're kind of you know doing things together but separately at the same time like we're both gonna be working on what it is we want for the future and all that stuff and I'm bringing you guys I think that's all I'm gonna be bringing today. <sighs> oh, such a heavy bag. I know it's kind of a lot of stuff, I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna be spending like a solid three to four hours there. So, <laughs> need all the things we can get, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, let's go to Starbucks, shall we? <gasps> Speaking of dripping. <laughs> I was meant to burp, nothing came out. I have like half my jacket on, half my jacket off. Because I'm going to go for a walk. And it's kind of chilly outside actually, surprisingly. And I thought I'd update you guys and say I literally got nothing. I wouldn't say nothing done. Okay, let me not downplay myself a little bit here. I did get some things done. Got some TikTok content done. And I got some journaling done. I don't know, I expected to do so much more within the five hours that I was in Starbucks, but I don't know, I kind of just daydreamed half the time. Like I was zoning out a lot. I don't know why. I'm experiencing a lot of brain fro frog. Brain fog lately and I don't know. Maybe I need to really just like dig deep because I, I don't know, I haven't been really journaling properly lately. Like I have been like every now and then, but not as consistently as I used to. So maybe I just need to like figure myself out at the moment. Really it's just like, take some things out of my brain and write it down. But yeah, I'm here, I'm going for a walk because the sun's going down and I just kind of need some fresh air. You know what I'm saying? Let's go for a walk. Look at how pretty the sky is. Wow. Looks like a painting. Damn.
genitals. It is 7.30 at the moment. This is the earliest I have worked out in. Well, I haven't started working out, but this is the earliest I've ever, not ever. Oh my God, I, look. This is the earliest I'm going to the gym in, I don't know how long, in ages. We got some plans today, so I'm um, gonna get an early workout in. Sorry, yeah. That's okay. We love an early workout. I'm ready to take my pre-workout. I have not taken any sort of pre-workout this week because I'm trying to like stay away from caffeine as much as possible. And it's been pretty good. So today I'm allowing myself a serving of caffeine. Just because we can. Okay, I need to go. I need to get going. I need to hold a corner. <laughs> I'm feeling extremely, I'm feeling very itchy right now. I'm feeling itchy and tingly and oh my god. Wow. This is why I should start taking pre-workout like less because it hits me so much better. I'm like, oh my god. editing at the moment and I didn't even oh, one thing right now anyways I can't believe I didn't actually share my excitement with you guys like honestly the Saturday was a... it was such a good day it put me in such a good mood because I didn't think I could lift a hundred kilos that just just like that I lifted it twice two separate sets and the set I felt really good after hitting that 100 kilo, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try again. By the way, this is my PB, so like I've never hit 100 before. The last time I did test for like my PR, PB, um, same sort of thing, I kind of was struggling with 90 kilos at the end of this, at the end of this year, yeah. at the end of last year, so I tested it literally New Year's Eve with my friend. So I was like, you know what, it's been like over a month, so maybe I can actually hit some numbers today. I felt really good that day, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep going. I was actually meant to just do volume, so like I was meant to do more reps rather than, you know, go for the hefty, you know, numbers, but we did, we tried because I felt so good. Anyway, I felt so freaking good that day. Sorry, I keep saying how good I felt because I felt so like energized and I felt just, I just felt so freaking pumped. I went to 80 and then 85. I'm like, should I should I go for it today? I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. And I freaking did it. Okay, so like the second time, I was like, okay, I don't suggest you guys to do this to <laughs> when you go for your PB. Please don't try it again because I did. I was like, oh, that kind of felt pretty good. So I'm gonna try it again. I didn't film it though. I'm so annoyed that I didn't film it. I was just like, I don't need to film this. You guys, when I pulled the um, the second set of 100, I was like, dropped. And then I spun around like that because I was literally this close to passing out. This close. I'm glad I didn't because I didn't have anyone with me. And it was a bit embarrassing to pass out, you know. And like, I wouldn't know if anyone would help me. They'd probably think I'm just playing dead. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm still, I'm like honestly to this day, I'm still so proud of myself. <sighs> and it's just when you start believing in yourself and really just being hyper focused on your goals, you'll get places. Like honestly, I promise you, with whatever it is in life, it doesn't have to be like health and fitness goals or anything like that. It can literally be career goals, personal goals, 
just keep persisting keep pushing through all the doubts the resistance anyone can do anything that they put their mind to just tunnel vision start talking more positively towards yourself and be more encouraging because when you're self-deprecating and speaking bad about yourself and pretty much bullying yourself you're the one stopping yourself from achieving the things that you want to achieve in life that's all i gotta say i know it's not easy to just you know switch your perspective of yourself but take it one day at a time say something nice to yourself today say something that you're proud of yourself for today anything it could be anything it could be as small as you know i'm proud of myself for eating a healthy nutritious breakfast or i'm proud of myself for getting 10,000 steps in i know i'm like basing it off health and fitness because that's kind of like what my goals are right now but even with like personal development you could be like i'm so proud of myself for i'm so proud of myself for journaling today because journaling is really good for your mind body and soul I don't know about body mind and soul <laughs> um yeah just be like i'm so proud of myself for reading a chapter of a self-help book today i'm so proud of myself for drinking three liters of water today you know things like that um you start training yourself to actually view yourself in a more positive light and just be more encouraging of yourself even though it feels a bit cheesy to do those things um you're teaching yourself that yeah you're doing all right in life don't be so hard on yourself because who else is going to show you love more than you can for yourself? Like, you know, if you're willing to show that love to others and be encouraging and uplifting to others, why can't you do that for yourself? I feel like for us, we need to be a bit more selfish. And before you compliment someone else, you got to compliment yourself. you got to give that love to yourself before you give that love to others. Um, I won't take any more of your time. I'll continue back to the regular programming. <laughs> when I was deadlifting, I'm like... <laughs> I hit 100, dude. Isn't that a good day today? Smash that over. Thank you. Was yours any cracked pepper? Yes, actually. That was quick and I'm hungry. Look at that. Look at the lighting on that. My birthday is still now. <laughs> now, like a week later. Yes. Right. So I got you three things. Oh, three things. Yeah. So close your eyes. Okay. Wait, can you close your eyes? Or take your hands off. <laughs> yeah, like that. So I can put it in your hand. Okay. All right, hold on. All right, have a guess. What's this one? And these. <laughs> <laughs> All right, open your eyes. <laughs> this is my top. <laughs> Stole my top, you guys. <laughs> um, no, she left it here, and it's been washed and dried. Mm, it smells fresh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll put that first gift away. Close your eyes for the second gift. This is this is my. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's not your job. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> this is another thing that. <laughs> this hasn't been washed. It's been in my car up until ten minutes ago. <laughs> right before you came. Amazing, thank you. <laughs> so it's still got that little natural sweat on it. Yes, it's got my scent. No, it smells like chewies. I don't think it's my car. My car does not smell like chewies. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it did. <laughs> Thanks. Cool. This is actually my guys. Okay. Okay. Alright, All right. this is the actual present. Alright, so get for it. <laughs> Have a guess, what is it? <laughs> mm. You can totally tell what it is. Yeah. Like, some, I'm trying to see if I can get like the... It's alright, just open it. <laughs> oh, I got you. I just thought it was pretty. I don't want to pay for another bag. <laughs> oh, oh, my first coach. Well, it's what is this wristlet? Like? Pardon? Is oh yeah, a wristlet. Like, so when oh. we go out. Oh yeah, when we go out. Ready to go dancing? <laughs> True. And I'm gonna smell nice too. Uh -huh. Okay. It's not coming out of the 
broken. <laughs> oh, that smells good. That smells really good. <laughs> Thank you. Good night.